Emma Willard was an early feminist who opened the Troy Female Seminary in 1821, where women prepared for a certificate to teach. She was born in 1787 and died in 1870 at the age of 83. Emma Hart Willard was born Emma Hart in Berlin, Connecticut, the 16th out of 17 children. She was known as an educator, a writer, and the founder of the Emma Willard School. Her father was very supportive of all his children, and this motivated Emma to be a successful woman in a time where women were looked down upon. Emma Willard was best known as an educator because she believed in the importance of higher education for girls. She began teaching in 1804 and opened her own school just a year later in 1805. She was known as a writer because she had gained profit not only from teaching, but also from selling textbooks that she had written herself and written. She wrote other things such as poetry as well. Emma was known as a founder because she founded the Emma Willard School in Troy, New York, with the help of her husband, John Willard. In 1807, Emma Willard went to Middlebury, Vermont to be the head of a female academy. in Middlebury, Vermont, she met a local doctor by the name of John Willard. They married in that same year. After the death of her husband, John Willard, Emma remarried to her second husband, Christopher C. Yates. Their troubled marriage only lasted nine months and they were divorced in 1843. In 1819, Emma wrote an address proposing a plan for improving female education. It was admired and it influenced public support for advanced education for young women. she moved to Troy, New York with her husband and they opened the Troy Female Seminary. She made a profit in teaching and selling the textbooks she had already written. Emma remained in Troy, New York at the Troy Female Seminary until 1838 even after her husband died in 1825. Her son later took over management of the school. In 1895, 25 years after her death, the Troy Female Seminary was renamed in Emma's honor to Emma Willard School. Troy Female Seminary in 1895. And these are some pictures of the present Emma Willard School. to her female students that were more advanced than those available at any men's colleges. She established a serious course of study for women that were dynamic and deserving of respect. 
was in her early years, Emma knew she wanted to help young girls and strive to become a great educator.